Greetings. This is an earthquake report for August 20, 2011, and two significant earthquakes were recorded on this day, both in the Vanuatu region. A 7.1 earthquake was recorded five hours ago, and an hour after this event, approximately, an aftershock of 7.0 was recorded. Now using the SDO composite to determine how these 7 plus earthquakes have manifested and has come from a coronal hole region deep down in the southern hemisphere which apparently isn't classified as a coronal hole formation via solon.info. We'll have a look at this shortly. Now in my last solar watch I did leave a little section where I felt there could be an earthquake around 30 degrees south latitude and that was due to this active region spawning within the coronal hole. But what we see is another upliftment above of two new active regions forming quite rapidly, almost in an earth facing position. And I'm attributing these regions as the cause or the main driver of the earthquakes in Vanuatu today. We're now looking at the latest coronal hole information via solon.info and we get to see two large features on the solar corona. One of these features was not numbered or classified as a coronal hole and that's the main reason why I didn't produce a video yesterday as I was concerned of a significant earthquake coming from this region and I did mention in my last solar watch video and I will put that little clip right now. Now having a look at Google Earth and looking at regions that may be affected over the next day or two. Now the earthquakes that occurred today in Vanuatu were located around 18 degrees south latitude. Now these events have overshadowed a fairly deep earthquake that occurred on the 19th of August and that was a 6.2 magnitude event in Fiji. Now this was significant as it was a very deep earthquake and I do feel that these deep earthquakes migrate along the Earth meridian and that's the main reason why I'm targeting the Indonesian and Papua New Guinea regions for the next 24 hours. I am targeting the New Britain region Papua New Guinea as the most likely area that could receive a significant event over the next 24 hours and that's the region along this trench just under the Bismarck Sea. I do feel this is the most likely area that could be affected. The next likely area would be adjacent to this region and that's Papua, Indonesia. Looking ahead, I do feel this coronal hole formation may produce a significant earthquake during August 23 to August 27 and I will be making another earthquake watch over the next 24 hours. And that's my earthquake report and earthquake watch for August 21, 2011. Thanks for watching.